I'm Isaac Bolin, and um, I'm a sixth grade boys um, volunteer here at the middle. So um, I really grew up in my church down in Evansville. Like my mom worked there in the daycare when I was born, so and so I knew the truth, and I ended up getting baptized around the time I was seven. So um, I just continued to grow up and hit middle school, and I was really into soccer, and that was like my thing. And I was pretty good at it by the time I hit like seventh grade, and the dream was to go play for Manchester United and be a professional soccer player, but that was like all of my focus. I had practice four days a week, so I would miss the middle school Bible studies that we had, like core groups here, and um, I, we would have weekend tournaments a lot, so I would miss church on Sunday and things like that, and even though I was baptized and believed that Jesus was the king, I just didn't really care. And it really led to this moment on in eighth grade when um, it was like a snow day, and my buddy and I went out to his property, and then we were driving home, and um, we were like in the back country and a car came around the corner and hit us and we like spun and hit a telephone pole which caused us to flip like eight times and um, we ended up upside down. And so I had to like unbuckle my seatbelt and like fall on my head and figure out a way out of the car and then like look around and make sure my buddy and his family were okay and like the dog that was in the back and stuff and make sure everybody was okay. And luckily we were and so was the other driver. But it just shook me a lot. And like, <clears throat> I don't know, just in the moment, like I remember standing outside of the car and like looking at the car and like my friend and stuff and thinking like, I don't know, I felt like my life wasn't, like I hadn't been living it how I should. Like the fire in my heart for soccer, like dwindled. Like it kind of was put out in that moment. And then the fire for like Jesus and being a regular part of church and that culture was kind of lit in that one moment. And so the rest of middle school, I um, I would skip my practices on Tuesdays and go to our Bible study and got to know some really cool people that are like my best friends now that I've done um, Bible study with through high school and I still go visit now that I'm in college. Because even though I had believed in him since age seven, it doesn't mean that I was really acting on that or acting like I believed in him or letting him be the center of my life. There's um, there's nothing wrong with like getting baptized at a young age, like I was at seven. Like that's great, and that's awesome. That as a young kid, I wanted to let Jesus in my heart, and that I loved Him that much, and was willing to do that. But that's just not like the end of the road. When you get baptized, it's not just like, all right, I'm baptized now. I'm set until forever. Like that's just not the way it works. If I really believe in, that Christ is King and that He's the center of my heart, then that takes action. And it wasn't until I was in eighth grade that like it that fully hit me. If you could look at yourself, even though you're baptized, and like determine that like if this was an unbaptized version of you, it would look no different than if you were baptized. There's probably something wrong. And I think that when I was in eighth grade, that was the point I was at. Like you couldn't tell that I was a Christian or that I was a Christ follower. I was just a regular eighth grader. But then. When the wreck happened, things changed, and I decided that I was going to take action. I was going to own my faith, which was a big step for me.